Level 611.1 Attacks Ophobia Survival Difficulty Class 2 Unsafe Secure Low Entity Count Level 611.1 is a sublevel in between level 611 and level 612 of the backrooms. Description Level 611.1 resembles that of a basement. Unlike most levels to where they are empty and silent, level 611 is filled to the brim with objects on the floor, despite having no additional signs of human life. These objects were arranged from that of childhood toys, the furniture that dates back to the 1960s, hospital beds, lamps, televisions, entity or not, bikes, various car parts, and more. The level has a ventilation system that is not directly connected to the level in any way, shape, or form. Instead, it is connected to the various rooms and halls that level 611 seems to contain. Unlike level 611, level 611.1 doesn't seem to have any light distortion properties. However, it should be noted that any area of the basement that your eyes lay off of will change in layout. The outpost that used to be on the level managed to go missing because of this. It has been noted that level 611.1 is a non-Euclidean space. A lot of people who exited to here from level 611 thought that they escaped into reality. This level can be difficult to traverse due to the constant danger of tripping, which also makes running from entities nearly impossible. The best thing anyone can do to even travel through the level is to move as silently as possible to not attract any unwanted attention. This level contains six arms, facelings, death moths, the police force, and the emergency alert system, all of which seem to be incredibly violent in nature but rare to come across. Occasionally, campfires can be found. These campfires have no significance to the level whatsoever but could mean something about other people calling this level home. They seem to be in the most obscure locations. The roof is made out of wood, which somehow never catches on fire. There is an entity exclusive to this level that will force any wanderer to play a game of Spot the Difference. This entity is invisible to the naked eye, and it will stick to one room until something walks into it. When a wanderer walks into the room with the entity, it will manifest a pad into that wanderer's hands by unknown means. They're tasked with the objective of spotting various anomalies around the room. On the tablet, there will be various report options such as intruder, extra object, object movement, ghost, sound anomaly, abyss presence, light anomaly, object disappearance, unidentified object, Floor slash wall movement, corpse, TV slash radio anomaly, painting anomaly, distortion, camera malfunction, you will almost never get this anomaly to appear, object growth, object shrinkage, picture anomaly, spatial anomaly, shadow anomaly, and other, referring to any specific anomalies that don't fit into any of the given categories listed. While in an encounter with this entity, it will move the things around, make them disappear, and so on. The objective, if you were to encounter this entity, is to survive within a six hour time frame. If a, wanderer, if a wanderer manages to at least miss four anomalies in the room, the entity will kill said wanderer, and prepare for another encounter. If a wanderer were to win the game, they would be rewarded with various utility items such as almond water. This entity has been nicknamed the OSR, or Observe, Survey, Report. If you don't know what this is a reference to, search up I'm on Observation Duty. Sometimes, a freezer containing various frozen food products like ice cream, pizza, pizza buckets, ice cream sandwiches, etc. may appear. All of these food products are safe to eat for the most part. If that food product were to ever smell like dead corpses, it shouldn't be consumed. There is the chance for an entity to be frozen in these freezers. Usually, it will be a male death moth or a child faceline. Sometimes, 
The freezer will contain small objects such as toys, pencils, paper, and other objects able to fit inside. These freezers are rare and are not as reliable as they sound. Other weird occurrences in this level are the occasional doors that seemingly appear at random. These doors will mainly be an exit route out of the level. These doors will have a very rare chance of spawning behind wanderers and can take you to a couple of different levels. The doors that can appear is made out of an unknown type of wooden material. The wooden material has many toxic substances that are unknown. However, they appear to affect the mental capacity of wanderers. Whenever you see this door, enter it by any means necessary. Colonies and Outposts As you obtain base Warren Missing Due to this event that happened, colonies and outposts are impossible to establish. Entrances and Exits Entrances Going through any door on level 611 has a small chance to reveal a staircase behind that door. Going down said staircase will take you here. Surviving the outskirts of level 608 will take you here. Exits Going back the way you came will bring you to level 611. Finding a staircase that has a red, white, brown, or orange tone will take you to level 9. Turning around will have a small chance to spawn a door. Entering this door will take you to level 3997, level 61, level 5, level 89, level 611.2, or level 611.3. Jumping into a freezer will take you to level negative 5. Going down a rusty orange tinted staircase will take you to level 58. This is the second episode in the 611 rabbit hole. Cyrix out.